Hello everyone, I'm back with another Reddit Addicts episode. If you find my videos entertaining, please kindly subscribe and like them. Thanks to everyone for your suggestions and kind notes. Now, let's get started with today's exciting stories. I caught my ex-wife cheating when I tried to surprise her. It was Labor Day weekend in 2021. My then-wife was in TX for training in the Air Force, we both were in. We lived in Ohio at the time. During her training, she would call the kids, 7 and 3 at the time, and me every day and stay on the phone for a long time just talking about anything. Then suddenly she started talking less and less. Still daily, but only two minutes if that. She would say that she had to study for tests. Then she started missing days completely. After the third time, I called her later and asked WTH was going on. She was utterly wasted, extremely drunk on the phone. I got mad and hung up. The next day, she says she needs space. Like I'm the bad guy here? We barely talked for two weeks after that, to backtrack a bit. We married when I was 25. She was 23. Dating for four years before that. When we were dating, she went to visit her friend in CA. Her friend married a Marine and moved there. Well, during that time, she was also going to meet a guy she had never met. Someone her friend wanted to set her up with. So for the entire two weeks, she was cheating on me. So we broke up for about a year. I connected back with her again, and we got back together. About two years later, I got married. During our marriage, she completely changed. She denied me intimacy and affection. When she rejected me, I would naturally get upset. I would say mean things to remind her of what she did because I knew it would hurt her. Fast forward, we had two children. Our marriage went on with hardly any intimacy or affection from her. I would ask her to kiss me. After our second child, we were pretty much roommates. I was extremely depressed, and it was difficult to get out of bed and do anything. I realized I wasn't the father I wanted to be, not the husband, and sought mental health. So back to the time after we started to stop talking after our argument. I thought the spark had been missing in our relationship, and I blamed myself for my depression and anxiety. So I got a babysitter for the long weekend. She had mentioned that she wanted to get away and go camping by herself. So I took it as an opportunity to surprise her so we could spend the weekend alone, just trying to get our love back to what it was, before marriage. I went to her hotel on base and talked to the hotel staff beforehand to let them know I wanted to surprise her. They were okay with it after I showed proof of who I was. I got an extra keycard, went into her room before she returned from training, and was going to surprise her when she came in. When I got into her room, I saw a large box of condoms on her nightstand, many empty alcohol bottles in the trash, and her counters. I also saw her wedding ring in her bathroom on the counter as if the ring was stored there. I was devastated and in shock at what I saw. I hid in the closet, and when she arrived, I jumped out and said surprise, I just was still in disbelief that this was happening. Her response was, you're not supposed to be here. Then then she locked herself in the bathroom. She texted a school friend, a girl, to come. The friend rushed to her room as if it seemed like I was hurting her. To be clear, I had never raised a hand or even got close to it. Her friend left, and she came out of the bathroom. I demanded an explanation. All she could say was, I'm sorry. It wasn't in an apologetic way, more of an I'm sorry you had to find out this way. I left immediately, took a car to the airport, and bought the first ticket home. I could only do the bare minimum for my kids the entire weekend because I was crushed. Monday rolled around, I called, and she said she wanted a divorce. I was just in disbelief and agreed without a discussion. The only thing I could manage to get out was, I'm taking the kids and moving back home. I was medically retiring from the military before she would return from training. Her response was, okay, can you take the dogs too? After we split and I moved back, I did some digging. I checked our bank account and saw thousands of dollars at bars and other places being spent by her during the time she was in training while telling us she was studying. I also checked the phone records. I couldn't see the messages, but I could see one number that kept coming up all day, every day, back and forth. 
that ended up being the guy she was cheating on me with, no surprise. We finalized our divorce in February of this year without fighting, since then, she has skipped her time with her kids twice to go on mini vacations with this guy. He lives in D.C., seven hours away from her. We live in M.O., six hours from her. In our divorce agreement, she can come to see the kids whenever she wants during the week if she clears it with me first. She just did that for the first time two weeks ago. Since February, that is the only time she has done that. When she calls the kids, and they see she is in the car or at a place they don't recognize, they ask her where she is. She admits she is with her new BF, she drives or flies to see him instead of the kids. Last Thursday, she called me and said she messed up, missed the kids and me, and wanted to get back together. I tell her that she has to agree to go through her therapy and marriage counseling. It sounded like things were going to get better. Two days later, she sent me a message telling me that she wasn't going to do any of that, this guy makes her so happy, and she is now engaged to this guy. My life was crushed again, the entire year I have constantly been crying and lying in bed. Thank God for my family because I couldn't do this without them. I just feel so worthless. I can't connect with anyone I try and date because I am numb now and have commitment issues. I can't find a job, and I bought a house that I now have tapped into my savings to start paying for. I constantly have morbid thoughts of being better off dead. Then I hate myself more for thinking that because I have two amazing kids to care for. I feel like nothing can go right, and I'm going to lose my kids, my house, and eventually myself. I have been talking to a therapist, but I dk if I feel any different. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm not sure what I'm looking for here, but I thought maybe if I got my story out there, it would have some kind of relief. Comment 1. I think your main problem is that you didn't accept that it's over and you kept that door open. Mate you need to put an end to this mess, and also you need to protect your kids from her. Mate no mother is better than a mother like that, she abandoned her kids for a guy. And this text about missing you and the kids is just because the other guy did something. Mate get a lawyer, get complete full custody and if you can then prevent her from getting in contact with the kids. It's better for your kids than to be the subject of this constant hope than disappointment cycle for years, and get child support to pay for the house. Mate you need to take control of your life. Go talk to a lawyer, get your house cleaned, take a shower, prepare good healthy meals for you and your kids. Go to the gym and try to put some order in your life. Comment 2. You are getting a lot of advice so I will only add on what I do not see that needs to be pointed out or asked. Are STBXW and AP in the military? I know your wife is, but is also the AP. You need to report them as the betrayal has been long and deep. Plus clearly, other military friends were covering for them too. You do not owe them anything and letting them get away with it is a bad example for the service and to your family. There are consequences in life. What your EX is doing is standard cheaters slash cuckolding whitewashing, brainwashing replacement steps to replace you, original, spouse and family, original, with AP. The AP, complicit friends, and even your EX are putting as much distance between you and your ex as they can so the living habit and comfort with AP is the norm and accepted comfort. This is literally the requirement of NC but going towards the affair and AP's favor. They are also trying to create their BS reality bubble so they do not have to face shame, guilt or consequences of their actions. You need to gray rock and any contact with X will remind her what a deceiver she is. You need to adjust or settle your finances too, if your pension not covering your new life. Find work no matter how trivial or mundane. Forcing yourself to function again instead of wallowing is best, you wallow in limbo long enough and it is your acceptable norm. Whether it is revenge or not, pushing forward for a new life is best for you and family. Next story. Boyfriend cheated on my while hiking 2,600 miles. My partner, 32M, cheated on me, 33F, 8 months ago and just told me yesterday. For context, my boyfriend and I have been together for almost 2 years. The first year was pretty rocky for us we both hadn't been in relationships for a long time and were navigating communication. We were also doing long distance, about one hour away from one another. We also knew each other for about two years prior as just friends. He went hiking for 2,600 miles for five months. He left all his stuff and car at my house. 
During that time we almost broke up a couple times due to communication issues and we're gonna talk about our future when he got back. We decided to work things out and stay together. And the last 8 months have been nothing short of pretty fucking great. We even took the leap of living together. Yes, we had issues but we were able to effectively communicate them with one another. I saw my future with this person and at this time he was the best partner I think I ever had. I noticed one of his hiking friends blocked me and he just brushed it off. He said maybe she had a crush he wasn't sure. When he also back from hiking I asked him if anything happened with anybody and he said no. Yesterday he sat me down to talk and said he cheated on me while he was hiking with that friend which was August. Around the time of our one year and eight months ago. He slept with this friend cause he said he was planning on breaking up with me but I had his stuff. And he didn't want me to do anything to it if we broke up over the phone. He said he was planning on doing it when he was back home, September. But when we started working things out he wanted to stay with me. Over the last two months he stated HR was feeling immense guilt cause he saw me as being the mother of his children and life partner. He said he couldn't hold it in anymore. I told him to leave so he's staying with a friend. Part of me hates him and part of me wants to work on it with him. I know I'm worth so so much more than a cheater. He told me he would do couples counseling and individual therapy if I chose to stay. He also was gonna quit his backpacking job this summer if I wanted so HR could be home instead of gone for the summer. I am at a loss of what to do. I truly am in love with this person. He also plans on doing more hiking eventually and I honestly don't know how to move past this. TLDR, partner cheated on me 8 months ago while HR was hiking from Mexico to Canada. We hope you enjoyed this story. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video. And before you go, please be sure to subscribe for more.